Did I forget something? Yeah, I think I did. I forgot to do my vlog. Oh well, let's do this instead. Hi guys, welcome to my own opinion, and no, I didn't forget to do my vlog. I was actually filming it, and then I realized that it was all corrupted, and I couldn't upload it. So, I apologize for no vlog. Um, you know what? Going to Windsor and going to the Detroit Red Wings game. So maybe, I'll do a little vlogging on Wednesday. Anyway, this is my own opinion, and in this video series, what I do is I drink a beer. I'm going to tell you if I like it or not. I'm going to look at it, smell it, taste it. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. So, you know what? Without any further ado, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, guys, from Left Hand Brewing Company out of Longmont. Colorado, the USA, we are drinking the Milk Stout Nitro. Apparently it's uh, America's Stout. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, we've got a 12 fluid ounce bottle. Uh, we're looking at 6% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, it's super smooth with roastiness and mocha notes. Um, it says pour hard, pour hard. Heard! It's like we're curling. Yeah, go visit them at uh, lefthandbrewing.com. Check out this uh, this beer. Uh, I've had this beer many, many times. And there's a reason I'm doing it on uh, my own opinion today. We'll get to that in a minute. So, nitroed, nitro bottle, cap, and pour hard. That's how we pour nitro. That's nitro all day. We are going to let this cascade a little bit. Isn't that lovely? Isn't she lovely? Yeah, there we go. She's cascading nice. We're gonna let that sit for a second. Let's talk about uh, my vlogging mishap. I was out, I was going in the car, I was going for a ride, and uh, I was vlogging like usual. Do all my vlogging, do you know, cuts here and there, whatever, and I get home, I put it on the computer, and it's corrupted. I don't know what happened. I did some other video testing with um, with my camera, and everything seems to be fine. For some reason, I don't know what was going on. It might have been because I was in the car, and I actually had it plugged into the auxiliary port, and that could have did something I don't even know anyway so I didn't I wasn't able to do a vlog on Sunday but like I said I'm going to Detroit for the Red Wings game against Boston Bruins on the 13th and um, I'll probably vlog when I'm there maybe I'll run into Ewart and put him on uh, on the vlog still doesn't come back to me on that but anyway the cascading is done on this uh, I, I normally would have used a different glass but last time I did this in a smaller actual stout glass it went all over the place. So we did it in uh, one of these guys. Uh, let's take a smell. Yeah, it's all chocolate. Lots of chocolate notes on there. The head is nice on this one. It's, it's well, I wouldn't say it's completely, uh, there's a little bit of uh, reddish, uh, ruby red on the bottom there, but you know what? You can't really see through that. It smells delicious. The head is nice and foamy. Like, look at that. That's all soapy head on there, and it's thick too. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a sip of this thing. Here we go. Now, I've had this beer. Plenty of times now that I've been able to go back to the States to go pick up this beer and get jumped right over the border in Niagara Falls, New York, or we'll head right over to Wegmans and pick myself up six packs upon six packs of this. This is the greatest beer I've ever had. I'm, I'm going to say, tell you right now, just putting that right out there right now. This is my favorite beer by far 
that I have ever had. Yes, it's a bold statement. It's not, you know, it's not pussy four and a half percent alcohol. It's a six. There's no burn on this one, Joe. Settle down. This is the greatest beer I've ever had. It is smooth, or I should say, smooth. It's chocolatey. Mouthfeel is nice and full and thick. The head is like a fucking marshmallow. It is the greatest stout or beer I've ever had. This is so poundable that I'm just going to drink this all the way down. I mean, and this is a good, this, you know what, for Lee, you know what, this would probably be a good, be a good little, um, uh, what would you call that, a gauntlet beer. I mean, they're, they're smaller bottles, but they could still do it. You know, do the math. What? Now, I know I've lost a little bit of the chocolateiness because you're supposed to drink this at 40 to 40 to 40. No, pour it at 40 to 45 degrees. Let it warm up a bit to about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit and then drink it. This is ice cold. This is the way I like my beers. I've had it warm, warmer. It's still delicious. Doesn't matter how you drink this beer. I mean, I, I lose a little bit of the, the chocolate out of this when it's super cold. I know it because I've had the other way, but this is so good. My favorite beer of all time, in my own opinion. And you know what, guys? That's it. That's my uh, my own opinion on the Left Hand Brewing Company's Milk Stout Nitro. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to drink this right now. Ugh. It's like I'm getting a milk mustache from this thing. If you liked the video, click like down below and don't forget to subscribe to On The Tent and that was my own opinion and pray for Joe.